If you have the superior asset, it's going up forever, Laura. You do not sell your Bitcoin. <laughs> Thank you. Bitcoin is worthless artificial gold. Within a decade, crypto and blockchain technology will be the 12th sector of the S&P. Bitcoin doesn't have any value in and of itself. As Bitcoin dumps nearly 10% today after the CPI report came out slightly higher than expectations, baby bulls worldwide let out a squeal as their dreams were crushed, their hopes squashed, and their magoo reabsorbed. Meanwhile, these charts just basically took the biggest dump episode imaginable because as we all know, inflation controls the markets now. But can the baby bulls pick themselves up by their bootstraps and come out on top? Or is it all over for the moon boys? I'm your host, Doobadoo, and Bitcoin absolutely devastated today. With the DXY after its biggest four day dump we've seen this year, now just had its biggest green candle, um, potentially even longer than that, going back very, very long, right? Uh, it was waiting for this moment. And basically, you don't have to watch any analysis today uh, except for what I'm sure you already know, that the CPI is the reason that these markets did what they did. And now the expectations are as gloomy as ever. However, there is a silver lining in all of this. And in fact, you know, is this a little bit of an overreaction? Absolutely. This is not the number that uh, would be good for the market. In fact, um, everything was shaping up on this chart to where if we would have gotten just a few eensy weensy teensy little points below, literally like 0.3% below what we got, the markets would have exploded to the upside. But we did not get that. This was a perfect situation for a nice relief, a very nice multi-week, uh, multi-month beginning of a rally, and we did not get that now. But what if I told you there was something completely ginormous? right in front of your face. It's a good channel. Make sure the like, subscribe, turn the this is absolute time sensitive alert. Take advantage of absolutely massive deposit bonuses below um, and reduce trading fees, literally zero trading fees for spot if you use BitGet below. And that is a great option for you as traders. Without any further ado, let's do what we do best and get completely dumped on. What a day, what a day. I woke up extra early today, in fact, uh, very early to take a look and the second that uh, the CPI numbers were released, I literally looked at these charts a second after, the, maybe like five seconds after it was released. Seven, $800 dump immediately. And now today for the day so far, we're down well over $1,000 for Bitcoin. The stock market has gotten completely dumped on. And the, the DXY is absolutely, I mean, it's the biggest green candle that we can see um, going back to, I guess, um, here when it broke the previous high of like the last few decades, right? So that was huge. And now we have a huge candle. You can see here, the DXY was do doing some damage, taking some damage over the last four days. And now we've gone up more than half of that damage already in a single daily candle now. And that is really the power that these markets have over cryptocurrency and over stocks right now. That's why I've been saying for weeks and weeks, you can do like a lot of TA and everything and that's important in the short term and to get a gauge of everything. But ultimately, these CPI numbers that come out every month are more important than anything. But again, the reason this was so big is because we did not have, last month, we did not have a FOMC meeting. Uh, this month, we will be getting one, right? Uh, in about a week and a half or so. So we will be seeing a basis point hike. This is big, again, for a lot of reasons, but now the market's already pricing in the, the idea that we might get a hundred, our very first hundred uh, BPS rate, rate height, uh, basis point increase, right? Um, that would be huge. The highest I believe we've gotten is 75. And, um, you know, that was, that was a big deal. So imagine if we get a hundred. Um, basically, the markets are absolutely pricing in the worst and they're it, expecting the worst. And we also have to keep this in mind. So while we did get uh, higher than was expected, uh, the inflation numbers are lower than they were last month. If you take a look at this chart here, uh, the 12 month percentage change of the CPI, selected categories not seasonally adjusted, you can see it's possible that we've already peaked. 
That's the big thing about this. Last month it was 8.5. The month before the month before that was 9.1. Now it's 8.3. So technically it's coming down. So why is the market reacting so bearishly? Well, basically just because people were expecting it to come down a lot more and it didn't. So even though it it shows that yes, this is very possible that we have peaked and we're going to start seeing it come down over the next few months. Uh, the market is reacting negatively because they were most everyone was expecting that this number was going to be a little bit lower. Basically, from all accounts, if we would have gotten below 8.1%, the market would have exploded to the upside. And we got 8.3%. So you can see how that little itsy bitsy amount of percent difference was the difference between basically your portfolio going up massively today and over the next few weeks and months, um, and the difference between that and completely getting dumped on. And you can see a lot of uh, liquidations here. Uh, total crypto long liquidations were around 168 million, according to CoinGlass. And uh, according to CryptoQuant here, exchange inflows on the day already hitting their highest since July 1st, meaning people are sending crypto to exchanges potentially to unload, right? Um, and again, the DXY completely exploding to the upside. Stock market, Bitcoin, every crypto down. And uh, you look across the markets, this is not just crypto, guys, obviously. This is this is the entire market, the, the global economy right um so very big dumpy here and again it was this close it was like the a pinch and a squinch away from uh disaster and obviously that is the reason that we got dumped on but now again with everybody expecting definitely everyone's saying right se definitely a 75 percent or a 75 point basis point hike uh, potentially even a hundred. Again, uh, people are preparing for the worst and you're seeing that in this market. What's miraculous is that with that news, we're still above 20K at this second, but uh, this is huge. This is just the beginning of this week. We still have the merge coming up. This is, as I said, not a good mix, right? I, I said yesterday that I believe obviously Ethereum is very likely to dump into the merge and then pump sometime afterwards. But I mean, now at this point, it's basically guaranteed that we'll probably see more dumping into the merge, considering that all we are seeing today is straight dumpage to begin with. Um, however, again, basically what happened today was the baby bulls getting torn to pieces and uh, with, with this fundamental, these numbers that came out. And until we actually start get, seeing even better uh, inflation numbers in terms of them showing inflation is maybe a little bit more under control, then this market absolutely is going to continue getting dumped on. Now, the big question is, though, is that we have yet to set a lower low on this long term chart. So for Bitcoin, we have not set a lower low. The low we set was back in the week of uh, the very first and second week of June in the $1,700 range. And we haven't come down there just yet. So this is this is going to be a huge, huge week. And if inflation does not get under control over the next one to two months, then um, it's all but guaranteed that we're going to get dumped on more. However, again, that's a lot of time. Um, there's a lot of price action that's going to happen in the, in the meantime, literally another month until we get the next reading. So um, yeah, pretty much hang tight. Are these buying opportunities? Definitely general generational wealth uh, accumulation opportunities, in my opinion. But um, yeah, in the short term, there's absolutely no... Uh, there doesn't seem to be any hopium in the very short term. Absolutely time sensitive alerts. Take advantage of any trading bonuses below. In addition, uh, if you're interested in staking with our ADA pool, earning massive rewards, the ADA, freeloaders, um, society, and curb finance, you can claim them all via drip drops. If you just go to drip drops and input your, your address there, then you can see what all you're eligible for and what all you've earned. It takes a few epochs after staking with us to earn them. But yeah, it's that simple. And without any further ado, that's it for me.